Well, hello, beautiful people. Today we're going to talk about Blue Willow. This is the latest text to image AI generator that is making some noise in the industry. If you're familiar with Midjourney, it works sort of the same way. However, it's based on stable diffusion. Midjourney has its own model and has its own look. Once you get into the Discord server, I encourage you to go to the FAQ section. There's a few things I wanna point out to you right now, but you can read the rest. As of right now, this is totally free. I'd imagine over time, there may be a limitation to the free service and perhaps a subscription down the road. This is pretty much a new platform that was developed in December of 2022. In this statement, this is what I was saying before. Basically, it says in this statement, we do not aggregate Midjourney as their model is proprietary. And then just below that, it says Blue Willow is an aggregator of multiple AI models. We extensively test and use diffusion models like Stable Diffusion, but not Midjourney. Our model picks the best model to run based on the user prompt. So all those other creators that are clickbaiting you saying that this is a Midjourney killer, oh, this is comp, no. I mean, they're all in competition, but Midjourney is its own model. This is based on stable diffusion. So here you see I've got a prompt here of a Tesla. Let me open this up. This is your typical Midjourney style. And personally, I like it. It renders amazing images, but it has that Midjourney look. Now here's the same prompt in Blue Willow. And although it looks pretty good, it's very different from Midjourney. And I could tell by sight that this is a stable diffusion model. And yes, it's got similarities to how it functions. Right now, in terms of options, all you really have are aspect ratios. You can do three by two or two by three or the standard one by one format. It has similar controls where you can upscale an image. Let's say I wanna upscale the third image here. I just click that, that's gonna run. There's that upscaled image. If I wanna create a variation, if I click on V3 there, it's going to create a variation based on this image. So here's the variations that was created. Yeah, and it looks really good. So you would start the prompt the same way, forward slash, imagine. It's gonna come up there, and then you would just type in your prompt. So here I am in Playground AI. I'm just here to copy this prompt. Then we're gonna go into the character section here. We're gonna go forward slash, imagine, and I'm just gonna copy and paste that and add an aspect ratio of two by three. I'm gonna get rid of these brackets because that only works in automatic 1111. I guess when I did this in playground, I was just too lazy to take it out. Here we go. Then you'll get this notice that it's rendering. In the FAQ, it says that it's gonna render within 60 seconds. I can say it's close to that. So here we have the images. We have the typical stable diffusion double heads, <laughs> but this one came out nice. You could add negative prompting by putting in dash dash no. Then I can put no double heads or something like that. Let's upscale this first image so we can see how it looks up close. And yeah, it, it does a pretty decent job. Really good details. The eyes are a little funky. We could definitely fix that in post. Not bad, not bad at all. As I mentioned earlier, currently it's a free service. I don't anticipate that it's gonna stay free or at least there'll be a limitation down the road. So take advantage of it right now. But I'm gonna keep an eye on Blue Willow to see how it progresses. And by the way, do you guys wanna hear about AI news? I really wanted to just focus more on the creative side, like how to prompt better, how to use certain models, that type of thing. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you're interested in. For now, check out these other videos on Stable Diffusion. And until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.